Good evening, Summit. Thursday evening, wanted to come back and check in with you. Hope you've had a great week. You'll notice that Edward and I are standing in the auditorium this evening, and if you look behind us... It's empty. Yeah, what do you see? <laughs> we miss you. Uh, <laughs> we wanted you to see what we see on Sunday morning and uh, experience that. But, you know, here's the cool thing about the church, Jake. The church is more than a chair. It is. You're the church, and you guys are doing a great job, but we miss you. We yeah. miss getting to see you and this social distancing thing and not getting a hug you and all that. So uh, we just want you to know, hey, we love you. And that's part of us coming together every week and uh, sharing these videos with you. Yeah, and if you think Edward preaches loud normally, you should sit in an empty auditorium and hear him. It's almost unbearable. So this week yeah. I'm getting some of those noise control headphones. Yeah, I take my hearing aids off yeah. when I preach. So yeah, that, still good yeah. stuff. I don't know how loud it is out there, but anyway. Wanted to come back, wanted to give you some announcements. Uh, make sure you're doing okay. Edward's gonna bring a word of encouragement. So excited, Easter Sunday, last Sunday. Uh, we, we're on three platforms now. So uh, if you know people that don't have Facebook, help us get the word out. We're on Facebook Live, we're on our YouTube channel. You can subscribe to that. And the easiest thing to do right now is we're on our website, www.summitheightsfellowship.com. And there's a yellow bar that says live stream church. You just click that and you can watch the live feed Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock. But you need to subscribe to it on that YouTube page. Subscribe yeah. that and then share that with your friends. Yeah. So that that platform continues to grow. And uh, you should have see, received an email either last night or early this morning with an updated um, announcement bulletin. If you did not receive that email, if you're not getting our emails every Wednesday or Thursday, you need to go to our website and click the live stream church bar. And then on that page, there's a contact form. You need to fill that out so we have a valid email address for you. This is the best way for you to keep up with everything that's going on at Summit Heights Fellowship. A couple things I do want to mention. First off, we are receiving food. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. If you know people that need food boxes, have them uh, reach out to me or you reach out to me. We can set something up. I am here on Tuesday from 1 to 3 or send me an email, jake at summitheightsfellowship.com and we can arrange a way for to yeah. get food boxes out to people. Keep bringing the food, we're gonna need it the longer this continues. We've got a bin out front for donations. And so, uh, man, we welcome that. Wanted to make you aware of a change on that bulletin. Our youth ministry has decided to move their Wednesday night Zoom youth ministry connection time to 6 p.m. I know the bulletin says 3 p.m. They made a decision late yesterday to move that to 6 p.m. so that more adults, uh, workers, and more students can get involved. So make a note of that and then keep uh, looking at those, send us your ballot email. That way you can stay informed. Did I miss anything? Yeah, you did. Because oh. I, I read this last night, Jake, and this is so dead gum cool. I know you and I were talking a while ago, and uh, this whole deal with kids, homeschooling, and uh, having our kids at home. Uh, our children's pastor, I don't know if you know her or not, Dude, but she is awesome and cute and smart this is getting a little weird and i'm married to her thank the lord yeah. anyway it's, it's so so she's doing this deal friday night because i know we were talking this morning just some of the frustrations that we're having as dads and leading our kids and our kids being um, home all the time home all the time and we're home all the time yeah. Uh, Ashley's doing a thing Friday night uh, for you parents that it, it's at nine o'clock. It's a Zoom uh, meeting. You can see that on our bulletin and on her email she sent out to parents and um, of our kid venture. At nine o'clock on Friday night, if you're frustrated, you just need somebody to connect with. She's hosting just a gathering on Zoom. And I just think that's so cool yeah. that for you guys that are struggling. Put your kids to bed, liquid Benadryl is yeah. what we find works best. So put your kids to bed, Which, log on at nine o'clock. Not really, but it works, okay? But anyway, uh, so yeah, I just think that's cool. And, and I really wanna encourage you to be a part of that if you're struggling. And, and if you are struggling, uh, reach out to someone, reach out to one of us. We'd love to yeah. minister to you uh, on that. Um, you know, one of the things you mentioned is how generous you guys have been, uh, not only with food, but your generosity financially is just absolutely blowing us away. Uh, to see that your faithfulness and your generosity 
continues even in this time where we're not gathering in a room like like this but that doesn't mean the church is still not the church you're the church church is more than a chair and so i wanted to say thank you uh it, it really makes a difference uh, for us to be able to minister to the needs of this community when the generosity of the church continues. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for being faithful in that uh, on there. Uh, also this last week we did communion. We we're going to do communion again together during the worship set. So uh, if you want to be prepared at home this week, uh, make sure you are and we'll guide you through that again this week. And I know some of you guys are doing that more during the week and man, that's just, that's really cool. I look forward to when we get to Me do too. it together. And we, and I, it's a special time up here as well. The band and Edward and myself, we gather, we take communion before the service. Yeah. And so it's a, it's a special time. Yeah, it's cool. You know, I was, I was praying for you guys this morning and uh, I, I know many of you, along with us, this has been a pretty rough week, storms. Uh, Easter morning, uh, thunderstorms, we thought we were done. And then Sunday night, those 100 mile an hour winds came through Hawkins. Uh, trees down, electricity. We were without electricity yeah. three days, and uh, you know it just it kind of compounded on everything. And so, as I was praying for you this morning, I, I was reading in Second Timothy where Paul was writing Timothy, who's a young pastor there in Ephesus, <laughs> and he says this. He says, "I thank God, whom I serve, uh, as my forefathers did, with a clear conscience, as night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers." Paul was praying for Timothy, and I'm so connected with that because I, I don't know how many times just during the day, walking around, doing what we're doing, we're praying for you, uh, we miss you. He goes on, he says, recalling your tears, I long to see you. And you know, I, I read that this morning and I thought, I long to see you um, in that, so that I may be filled with joy. Uh, I'm a hugger. And so this whole social distancing thing and not being able to shake hands and all that, I'll hug you right here. Yeah. I will, I'm not scared. Well, we, gotta, uh, we gotta follow the rules. But it's, it's that joy. And there's something about being together in community and joy uh, in that. <laughs> and so he says, I am reminded of your sincere faith. And I thought about you this morning and how you've continued to minister in your generosity, which first lived in your grandmother, Lois, and in your mother, Eunice. And I'm persuaded now lives in you also. And for this reason, he says, I remind you to fan in the flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Paul put his hands on Timothy and, and blessed him. And we bless you and your work today and fan that flame of ministry. People are open right now. But I think this next verse is what I connect with so much where Paul says all of that and then he reminds Timothy of something. And I wanna remind you something tonight. And this week being all it has been with the, tor with the uh, winds, the, the rain, the lack of electricity, staying at home, all the thing compounded in one week. Here's what Paul said. He said, for God did not give us a spirit of fear. Now, listen to me, church. I know some of you are scared to death. This whole thing has scared you with this COVID. And, and remember, that's not from God. Fear is not from God. He does not give us a spirit of fear. And I know there's others of you, you're on the other end of the spectrum. You're just done. I mean, you're, you're ready to go back to work. So here, I want to remind all of us that God did not give us a spirit of fear. And then Paul says this, but he gave us a, a spirit of power, of love, and a sound mind. Did you hear that? Sound mind. In other words, I know some of you are already done. You're, you're not social distancing anymore. You're not doing anything. So use that wisdom because there's other people in our journey that they're truly scared. And, and the virus is real. And so I don't want you to be paralyzed in fear. I also don't want you to be careless. I want you to take what Paul says that God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind to use wisdom and to love people the same way you would want to be loved during this journey. I love you, Summit. I miss you. And I know some of you are genuinely scared. Remember, God didn't give you a spirit of fear. Power, love, and a sound mind. Power, love, and a sound mind. Let me say it one more time. Power, love, and a sound mind. I love you. Remember that tonight as you sleep. Cannot wait to meet with you Sunday. Can't wait to see you. We're praying for you, uh, constantly praying for you. We love you. Thank you. We'll see you next week.